All right, well, I guess we've got something to talk about, don't we? If they ain't got it, I'ma mask up and take it. 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 What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Hey, hi, how are you? AJ Good here at the House of Masks. And holy shit, Slipknot fired Chris Payne. Real quick before we get into this, I just want to point out how weird it is that one, two, and three are gone. Coincidence? <laughs> But seriously, before we get into this, I want you guys to think about the fact that Chris Fane could be a liar. No, in all seriousness, this really does suck. As I mentioned in the video I made prior to this, Chris was never my favorite member, but it does feel like I just lost an uncle. Not like lost like he's dead, but I mean, obviously he's out of the band, and uh, I grew up with this band. Everything from constantly playing the self-titled cassette in my Walkman, to cutting out any little teeny tiny shred of Slipknot in any sort of magazine ever, to watching their DVDs every single night before I went to sleep, to obviously having the biggest Slipknot collection in the world. It is no fun to watch stuff like this happen to your favorite band. I did call this as soon as I saw the headlines that Chris was suing Slipknot, and a lot of people said it's not real because Corey had made mention of hearing bullshit, but I think what he meant was you're going to hear things said about Slipknot that aren't true. From Chris's side, not really sure how people misread that, but then again, it is the Slipknot fan base we're dealing with here. They've always said that we're maggots because uh, we feed on the dead flesh of society. So yeah, it just sucks. It's no fun whatsoever. I don't like watching it. I definitely don't like talking about it, and I'm not going to dive into the politics of this, but with this coming to light, I have been doing a little bit of research, and uh, I've gone back and just watched some old Chris interviews and stuff like that, and I found one from the All Hope Is Gone era. To understand Slipknot back then is really difficult because it's such, it's like such mental abuse, you know? Um, <clears throat> just never getting any love from the guys at all, you know? It was just uh, a really hard time, but I, I really, really love music, man. I was like, once in a while, like I'd be driving, I was remember driving with Paul and I was like, so am I gonna be number three, you know? Cause obviously, you know, like everybody else is, has a number except for three. Yeah. And he's like, I don't know, man, you know? You're, you're not getting a number yet, you know? And just shit like that, you know, that constantly was like, I was like, God, man, these guys just fucking hate me. When, when was the turning point? <sighs> for me personally, maybe a month ago. <laughs> Months ago. Yeah, Why? I, I mean, I just don't know, man. It's it's just I'm just really hard on myself. I always thought that it was going to end. Were they also hard on each other, or were they hate against you, or what was it? Um, they were. Yeah, they were hard on each other too, and um. Yeah, because. But they were together, you know. Yeah, but Jim also uh, joined later, I think. Yeah, yeah, but um. I think at that time it was it was time to go, you know. It was time to, you know, we were getting close to having to go on Ozfest, so I don't think it was just, and maybe it's a guitar player thing too, you know, like, I don't know, but. Oh, you mean maybe guitars are more important or something? Like right, that? you know, it's a big part of it, you know, the percussion sometimes, it used to feel like it was just a side thing, you know what I mean? So maybe you couldn't, they couldn't interrupt his mentality as far as but you know that's Jim would have to tell, explain that to okay. you I mean I don't know but I, I just felt in my own on my own that it was always going to end you know where Chris talks about how he never really felt accepted into the band and once I pair that with some rumors that I've heard from close family and friends of Slipknot I just, I don't know, it's it's sad, so. So, aside from that, some things I want to discuss that have kind of been left in the wake of this news. Wow, what a cringy fan base. Not that we didn't know that already, but shit like this just really seems to bring the masses out, and it is very scary. We breathe the same oxygen as some of these people. They drive on the roads with us. It's bad. It's like cringe city. So there's that. Another thing is, Corey Taylor had responded to somebody that uh, tweeted to him about bringing Anders back, which would not be a great idea because Anders was awful. I really dislike his vocal style. I'm very glad that Slipknot did what they did, even if it was kind of snaky and kind of got him out of the band with a big push from Corey. Not that I think Corey wanted him out of the band, but obviously Slipknot was using Corey as their ploy to push Anders out and replace him with a much better singer that way more fit the band than Anders ever did. And what would the dude's appearance look like right now? Because when he started off, he literally just looked like Stone Cold Steve Austin and wrapped himself in electric tape. 
No thanks to that. Please do not bring back any sort of ex-members. That is not what we need. Honestly, it's hard to tell what I personally want from Slipknot. I, like a lot of you people, grew up on Slipknot, and I, I held very close to the whole uh, Brotherhood thing, and I, I remember watching those interviews and hearing Slipknot talk about their band. And it felt very, very special back then. Now, obviously, you grow up, and uh, Slipknot grew up, and the band became more of a business than a passion. Not saying that they're not passionate about their business, but it is what it is. And you can see things a little bit clearer. And while a lot of me wants to cling to the nostalgia of uh, the Brotherhood and the fact that they are continuing without three of the original members, three very important members, in my opinion, especially Joey, I also still want to see cool stuff, and I really wanted to dislike the Grey Chapter, and uh, it's actually one of my favorite eras, I think right behind Self-Titled and Iowa. The Grey Chapter comes real close to them, and it's a much different Slipknot than it was back then, but I don't necessarily think that is a bad thing. Even though I wanted to back in the day, it definitely grew on me, and uh, honestly I love the Grey Chapter, and I really like Jay Weinberg, so... It sucks to see stuff like this happen, but maybe it needs to happen, and uh, just like Slipknot's little statement said, evolution is a part of survival, and uh, they are just surviving, and maybe Chris is too. So, like I was saying, it's hard for me to say what I want from Slipknot. Do I want them to stop and I just hang on to all the good memories, or do I want them to keep going for the sake of me being greedy and wanting to see cool stuff? I'm not sure. And last but not least, I did want to cover the fact that we still don't know what the truth is. None of us fucking know. Not a single one of us know what the truth is, and the only people that ever will are Slipknot and probably the lawyers that are going to be involved in this. And even once this is all out in the open, we're only still going to know what the courts and the lawyers and the band have allowed to get out there into the public eye, so it is hard to tell. I just wanted to leave on that note as kind of a reminder that we don't fucking know what's going on. We probably won't, so the uh, bashing one side or the other just seems really unfair to me, and I don't like it, so you guys can talk about what you want in the comments. I'm not going to discuss the politics of the band whatsoever because I'm not in the band, I'm not the band's legal team, and I don't fucking know. What I will say is thank you very much, Chris, for all the years of dedication and hard work and love that you've put into the band. It very much sucks to see you go. And no matter who is right and who is wrong in this situation, it does not erase the fact that you've put a lot of time into this band. And I've pretty much worshipped you since I was a little kid. So thank you, Chris. Thank you very much. Once again, open discussion in the comments. Feel free to do whatever you guys are going to do and say whatever you're going to say, but I will not be involved in any sort of negativity towards either side of the band. Thank you guys very, very much for watching, and we will see you later.